Welcome to Weirdly Interesting, where we have the answers to the questions you never knew you had. Today, we're counting down 10 things that happen to your body when you go under anesthesia. The first stage of anesthesia makes you feel floaty for a few minutes. Anesthesia consists of four stages, one of which you'll want to avoid at all costs, but we'll get to that later. The first stage is called induction, which provides a lightness and tingling sensation throughout your body. Your head feels strange and you'll probably start feeling confused. That continues with stage two of anesthesia, which is known as the excitement stage. It involves your body initially rejecting the anesthetic. Since the anesthesia is a foreign substance and interferes with your normal breathing functions, your brain rejects it at first. Many people will start to twitch and their heart rates will plummet or spike. Don't worry though, this stage is short and someone monitors you the entire time. That brings us into stage three, which is called surgical anesthesia. It is the most important part of the process. When you get anesthesia, you are actually placed in a coma as opposed to simply falling unconscious. When you're unconscious, your mind still goes through the stages of non-REM sleep. With anesthesia, your mind will not show those readings, putting you into a far deeper sleep level. We get into scary territory with this next stage. Stage four, which is incredibly rare, involves your heart and lungs stopping completely. Anesthesiologists are by your side the entire time to ensure you do not fall into stage four. It is incredibly rare, but the medication can be too much for some people. Their nerves, brain, and body are suppressed entirely. Overdosing is lethal, but with a trained anesthesiologist by your side, you have nothing to fear. At this next stage, anesthesia shuts down your nervous system completely, blocking the nerves that send signals to the brain that register pain. In essence, anesthesia slows your brain down to the point where it does not respond to or receive anything from the nervous system. This allows you to not feel any pain. It also means your heart rate will not increase and you'll have no memories of the experience. In that same vein, anesthesia basically paralyzes you because it impacts your spinal cord, preventing you from moving during the medical procedure. Once the anesthesia enters your bloodstream, it'll make its way to the spine. It impairs all electrical and neurological activity there, so even if you are conscious, you can't move. This is why some people have residual paralysis after waking up, where they can't move for a few minutes. Get ready for this next stage. Your brain reboots itself after surgery. Basically, it presses your start button on itself. When you wake back up, your brain does not restart all at once. Instead, little clusters and clumps will light up a little bit at a time. Basically, your brain is trying to figure out how everything connects together once again. Research even suggests that during this process, the brain reverts to a more evolutionary, primitive state. At this next stage, your motor functions may not completely work when you first wake up, but luckily, you probably won't remember any of this. Remember David after the dentist? Many people act the same way after waking up from anesthesia. Their parents just don't film them. Your brain has not fully rebooted, so you cannot speak clearly or express thoughts coherently. This is due to the fact that the part of your brain that stores and creates memories is not working properly yet. This next stage is a big fear for a lot of people. Some people do wake up in the middle of surgery, but it's exceptionally rare. Approximately one out of every thousand cases of anesthesia involve people waking up in the middle of a surgery. People who have experienced it recall feeling awake yet paralyzed. Most of the time, it occurs as a result of the patient receiving an improper dosage or the monitoring machine malfunctioning. This is why anesthesiologists need to be by your side the entire time. If you start showing any signs of waking activity, the specialist will jump to action right away to fix it. This ensures you safely go back under once again. At number one is the strangest aspect of all of this. No one is entirely sure why anesthesia works. Although theories exist, the medical community is not 100% sure why anesthesia puts people under. One theory suggests anesthesia dissolves fat in the brain cells, which alters brain activity. No matter what, thank goodness it works because it allows thousands of people every day to receive life-saving surgeries. The next time you need anesthesia, you'll know precisely what it is doing to your body. And that's it. Check back next time to see what else is weirdly interesting.